The United States is unarguably the most powerful country in the world, both numerically and technologically. We examine the armed forces in three categories in the field of land, air and navy. We also touch on the nuclear capacity the army has. The current president is 73-year-old Donald Trump. The country's population is 331 million and its capital is Washington. We start examining the land forces. The American Army has a total of 2,260,000 military personnel. Of these, 1,400,000 are active and 860,000 are reserve personnel. The Land Forces describes his mission as to find and win our nation's war by providing prompt, sustained land dominance across the full range of military operations and the spectrum of conflict in support of competent commanders. The USA has more than 800 bases worldwide and has more than 180,000 soldiers outside its borders. In this respect, it's the country with the highest number of soldiers outside its borders. Thanks to this feature, it has the capacity to start a military operation in a large part of the world. The Army consists of highly trained, modern equipment and all professional personnel. There are special operations commands that can perform operations at five different points connect to the ground forces. We continue with land systems. Tanks form the basis of the ground forces. The American Army has 6,289 tanks. One thousand and four hundred sixty five sub propelled artillery, two thousand and seven hundred forty towed artillery, one thousand and three hundred sixty six rocket projectors. Military vehicles are developed with technological weapon systems. Considered one of the best in the world in terms of armor, the M1A2 Abrams is the Army's main battle tank. Air Force is very important in modern warfare. It also controls the place that controls the weather in battle. The American Air Force is by far the best in the world with its inventory.
the USA has a huge air fleet with a total of 13,264 aircraft. Of these, 2,008 5i fighters and 759 deducted attack aircraft. In this respect, it's very effective in terms of attack. In addition, it has 945 transports, 2,643 trainers, 742 special mission aircraft. There are also 5,768 helicopters and 967 attack helicopters. The US Air Force has successfully completed many operations so far. All of this is thanks to its superior weather elements. American fighter aircraft and attack aircraft are the most advanced in the world. For this reason, the chance of operational success is quite high compared to its competitors in air superiority. General mission of the U.S. Air Force is, along with conducted independent air operations, the U.S. Air Force provides air support for land and naval forces and aids in the recovery of troops in the field. Let's start examining the Navy now. In the past, the Navy used for defense and attack against the threats that may come from the sea, and today it supports operational units on land and in the air thanks to its long-range weapon systems. The US Navy has a total of 490 ships. 20 of these ships are aircraft carriers. It has 91 destroyers, 19 corvettes, 66 submarines, 13 patrol craft and 11 mine warfare. The US is by far the best in the world, as in the Air Force at sea. Aircraft carriers are the biggest carrier ship. Designing, building and maintaining these ships is costly, and the US alone has more than the rest of the world. In addition, the largest aircraft carriers in the world are again in the US Navy. Combining these ships with the best plans in the world, the enormous attack skill comes out. In addition, another strategic warship is destroyers. Thanks to their weapon systems, a small shelling is strong enough to destroy the steeds. The Navy of the USA is by far the best in terms of number of destroyers and technological superiority. When we examine the nuclear power of the army, it's seen that there are 6,185 nuclear warheads in total. Approximately 1,600 of them are deployed. In the field of nuclear weapons that we hope will never be used, the USA is the nuclear power with the most warheads along with Russia. US and new defense spending is by far the first place as everyone guessed. It has an incredible defense budget of $750 billion a year. This expenditure is greater than the gross domestic product of most countries in the world. There is no other country that can make such a big spending. 
We examine the world superpower United States Armed Forces. See you in our next military video.